Do we love mini bags? Do we love bigger bags? I always keep on going between the two, but what I've realized is the lighter the bag, the easier and more inclined I am to carry it. The bigger the bag, the heavier bag, and the more I like the thought about using them, but to actually like grab and use them all the time, if it's not for travel, it's kind of like, eh. So anyways, those are just my thoughts, but thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys have been on my channel, you know that I love handbags just a little bit. I love fashion, accessories, SLGs, you name it. Um, but most importantly on this channel, I want to do unboxings, comparisons, reviews, anything bag related to really help you decide is that bag meant for you or is there better options and just kind of go through with some of my thoughts. So welcome, if this is your first time here. I, again, love anything related to the handbag world. If you guys love that as well, please consider subscribing and press that little notification bell on the bottom. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put my information here. But again, I just love sharing bags that I love, things I love, fashion, you know, accessories, anything related. Um, and I just want to kind of meet you guys and be able to chit chat about the things that we all love. So with that said, let's get started. So I'm actually really excited about this video because we're talking about some of my favorite bags, which are mini bags. Now the definition of mini bags, I think is pretty subjective because for some people, a mini bag is like a nano bag, right? pop some up here, but you know, mini is to me a bag that is smaller, but yet can hold all your daily essentials and sometimes even more. So when I look for bags, as much as I want little baby nano bags, I just can't stomach sometimes paying so much for them, knowing that only my key fob and my credit card will fit. However, I'm still probably on the hunt to look for something. Um, so when I do find that, I'll definitely share it on this channel. But in the meantime, you know, I just love getting bags that I know I'll use. And sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, because sometimes I get things I end up not loving it. I'll sell it or return it or whatever it is. Um, but most of the time, I try to put a lot of thought in what I purchase. So I do use them and I do want to grab them. Um, because again, we want to buy the things that we use to get our money's worth. So. This was a video that was requested and I wanted today share my favorite mini bags ranked, um, which I think are, you know, A, great that I gravitate towards to price point wise, um, and then just kind of go through each of the bags in detail. So I'll put timestamps on bottom too, so that way if, the, if there's a bag you're not interested in, you can just kind of fast forward to the next one. Okay. okay, my first one is, and this is no surprise if you guys watch my channel, is the Prada Re-Edition. And I sound like such a broken record sometimes because obviously I talk about this bag so much. I have so many videos on her. I will drop them below, but I just, I can't stop talking about her because I truly love her. This is by far number one in my collection on the mini bags um, that I love. And when I purchased this, this was definitely probably a couple hundred dollars less than what it is today. I think right now it retails for about $22.50, somewhere around, somewhere around that. I'll drop it right here. Um, but I love this bag so much that this is obviously in the Soffiano. I got it because I wanted something that will stand the test of time and I love this gold hardware. Um, and I just felt like this would be like, for me, like a classic in the collection. So now that I have this, I was trying so hard to find the Prada Re-Edition 2000. So it's the one with the nylon strap that's thicker, not the one with the Soffiano strap. Um, and this lilac purple color, which I think it's called Wisteria on their uh, page. I'll drop it here. I don't know. Can you guys let me know? I asked, um, I asked this on Instagram. Do you guys think this is a good purple? So I love a good like pastel purple. Those That's the color that really speaks to me. I think this one has more of a gray undertone. However, I did reach out to my essay because I still want to get it because I just think this will be a great neutral to add. Um, but I do have my thoughts on nylon, which I'll share in another um, bag I'll talk about shortly. 
but yes, this one is definitely so great. And honestly, this fits so much. This fits your essentials and more. Um, you guys have seen this. It, I'm not going to go through details of what fits inside because I'll drop that video below, but it definitely fits so much. Um, and obviously this comes with a, um, like a statement strap. So that strap does have a little SLG on it. It just makes it so cute. I love her. I would definitely actually probably consider even getting like a beige one in the same Sofiano um, style just because I know it's something that I'll use. I do really quickly want to just add pros and cons to each of the bags because I feel like that will help you if you're considering any of these. So the pros I kind of just went through overall, obviously the size, the look, everything about it. The only negative I have is a zipper. It is sometimes like not as buttery as I feel like it should be. And I don't know if it's like this on the nylon version. If you guys have the nylon version, can you guys let me know below, is it buttery, the zipper, or is it kind of like a little wonky? I mean, it's not, obviously it's not like defected or broken or anything. I think it's just the way it is because of the um, leather. I mean, it's fine. I think the more you use it, the looser it'll get, but at least you know it's tight where no one's gonna be able to get into the bag. The second bag on my list for mini bags is the Palm Springs Mini. Um, and again, another one that if you watch my channel, you know that I have also raved about this so many times. I don't have the straps right now because they're inside the bag. Um, but again, I don't even know. I was debating if I should put this in um, the mini category because it fits more than some of my bigger bags per se. So, but I think I decided to add this one um, to this video because I feel like it's a mini when you wear it, it looks, you know, pretty small, but it really packs a punch. I mean, you can fit so much in here. And I always talk about this when you open it, it's almost like, and I have just a little chain on here, I have stuff in here too, but it's like a filing cabinet. So you just stack everything like this and you can pull things out as you're looking for it. Um, I just think it's a great little bag. It's very durable. You can wear it casually, like with my sweatshirt right here, you can wear it. You can kind of wear it with something a little bit more upscaled. I mean, it's more of a casual bag, but I'm a casual person. I just love this one. Um, the only con I would say to this is this front zipper, which if you guys have this bag or have seen this bag, you probably know already or watch reviews. I mean, I attach this chain I made because it makes it easier to pull. But I um, do sometimes utilize this pocket for like chapstick, lip gloss, or my key fob if I don't need to grab it all the time um, just to open up my car because it's not easy to get in and out of. So it's not like one of those front pockets where it's easy access. You put the things you need in there. No, it's definitely not. Uh, but again, like it's still a great little bag number two in the collection. Number three would be this Pauline bag. And this one is the Unano Mini. And it is the smallest size. And she's so good because again, she has a top handle. So you can actually detach the straps if you like and add other straps. Um, you can carry her just like a little croissant. You can wear her as a crossbody and you can adjust this if you want to sit higher or lower. And she has feet. Gold hardware and her, the little buttons here cinch in and out. So you can adjust this to make it bigger, better. There's one little back pocket here. And this is such a good bag because A, you don't see it everywhere. So if you know, you know, um, the quality is absolutely amazing for the price. I think this bag retails for about 300 US dollars. Uh, but I was amazed because obviously we don't have one in the US. Um, and when I received this bag, I just couldn't believe how buttery this leather was. Now this is the smooth leather and I thought it was gonna be really, um, I had to be really careful because smooth leather scratches easily, but I don't see anything wrong. I had this bag for a year. It's like, there's not one scratch on it. And they also have it in pebble grain and things like that. And I'm sure that one's even more durable, but I would definitely get another pull-in bag. Um, I actually want the number 10 and then number 11. I've mentioned this before. I just haven't pulled the trigger because I'm just trying to get through really utilizing the bags I currently have. Um, 
but I do want to, I think I'll put that one on my Christmas wish list to myself because I think it's just, Pauline bags are always great because you know you're going to get um, your money's worth when you get them. So I definitely recommend this one. If you guys um, are not familiar with the brand, go check out their website. It's it's just such a, such a good, unique style and fits again so much. Fourth one on my list is the Aria belt bag. Again, um, this is not sponsored. I know people always ask me, oh, is this sponsored? No, it's not. I just love this bag because it is again like send rev to me is also you it's pretty quality and durable i mean that's my thing and the price point especially when you get wait for like a sale or something i think the price point is really fair for what you get most of the bags are made in italy some are made in spain this one is in the dolce leather which is their more buttery leather and i've had their pebble i've seen their um epi leather which is what they call their mimosa and then this one and i would say for me personally, the Dolce is my favorite because I just love a good squishy yet kind of structured and soft bag. Um, and I like this one because A, I don't see a lot of people have it, but the inside, this blue against this like buttercup color is so cute. Um, and I love the gold hardware. I love the fact that it turns into crossbody or you can wear it as a belt bag. It does come with a chain. I just took it off because um, I wanted to show you guys. And there has this front pocket. I just think this is a great little bag. I love about it is this is my statement strap I purchased for my mini Aluna, but you can actually wear it with this. And it just gives it like a different look. They have a bunch of different colors and you don't have to use this. You can use any other strap, but I just think that gives it more edge. But my favorite way to wear it is just with a simple gold chain because I just think gold chains kind of elevate all outfits. Um, but again, it's a, it can be utility. It can be a little bit of a more, um, elevated bag, whatever you like, or I love to wear crossbody when I go to like the amusement park or something like that. I think it just makes it really nice. Um, but yes, I would definitely say out of all the center of bags, um, I've come across, I definitely would say I love the Aria probably and the Aluna the best. Um, still kind of trying out their other ones, but yeah, definitely. A goodie right next here. on my list is another Prada. Now this one is a vintage um, Prada piece and I just love this because when I first saw this on Fashion File, I immediately purchased it because I got such a good deal. It's like my perfect casual yet kind of elevated bag because what do I love? I love Prada nylon, just like I love Longchamp nylon. It's so good. And this has a Saffiano top, so it's secure. It has an extra pocket here, which I put my keys in. And then it has a zipper area. And inside it has an inside pocket with a zipper. I just have her stuff right now. Um, and it has this like Saffiano weave through this like gold chain. And when you wear it, it's like casual, but yet kind of dressy. I don't know. Like I would say if I ever see this in fashion file again in a different color, I would definitely pick it up because I wish he still had this style in the boutiques. Actually, it's I would say I like this style more than I even like some of their newer items right now um, currently in stores just because I just like the design of this. Now, um, the one thing I did learn from this bag this is my con basically is as much as I love the Prada nylon, nylon is really not as, what's the, not, not durable, but um, carefree as you would think. Because, I don't know if you guys can see, I try to like wash it out, maybe you can't really see. There are a couple of stains on this bag and it's done not because I purchased it like that, but like right here from me. Because I remember like I took her to um, get my nails done and I was like had her on her lap and I think I don't, I think like lotion or something like dripped. And then I immediately saw and I like took water and just dabbed it out because I didn't obviously want to put her in the wash or use soap or anything harsh like that. And it like sunk through in like 10 seconds and like was in like a part of the stain on the back. Couldn't really get it out. Um, so, and this is not like a super light color, but it's not, it's not super dark either. So I guess like stains are more prone to visibility. Now, I think if you get a black bag, it's not going to be as easy to see. But I personally, if you're going to get a nylon, get the fun colors because it gives it a nice pop, especially in a smaller size. That's just my opinion. But yeah, you still need to be careful because nylon eventually will 
I mean, you don't have to worry about a scratching or not, but the staining is real. So just be careful if you have a nylon. But nonetheless, I love this bag. I definitely want to get another one um, in Fashion File. I want one maybe in like a black or another fun color. But yeah, such a good one if you're looking for something that is you know, on the smaller side, but still has like a pop. This is definitely next it. one is a bag. I don't currently have on me. So this one is actually um, a bag that my mom and I share. It's a Louis Vuitton multi pochette. I've, I've featured her in some of my videos, but um, actually this one is my mom. She bought it and then she didn't really love it. So then she let me use it and then she needed it for something. So I give it back to her and I'm sure when she's done with that, she'll probably let me just keep it in my house. But I do really like this one. Now, I was hesitant. I tried to like purchase her a couple times, but then I ended up just using my mom's because she didn't really want to use it. She thought it was a little too like young and trendy for her style. But for me, I really like it. I do think the con of it is a little, it's, well, first of all, the price point is jumped so high. It started at 1500 when it first launched. And now it's like, between like 22 and 25, I think, or something something like that, which I think is a lot because all you're doing is just taking pouches, putting it together with a nice strap. Don't get me wrong, I still really like this bag. I use this bag all the time when I'm like um, going on like weekend getaways or something. I To me, that size is perfect. I love the fact that there's two pouches and you can kind of organize. I put my wallet and my keys in one and everything else in the back. I love the fact there's a little SLG here and I'll put like my chapsticks and stuff in there, coins. I just think it works out really well. I really do enjoy using that bag, um, but I would never pay the price right now for that bag um, just because I don't think it's worth it. But I do like the fact that I sometimes take it apart and I'll use it as like a little shoulder bag or maybe just use one as like a one crossbody. So there's many ways. Do you really like this bag? I wouldn't say I recommend it at full price, but if you find it pre-love or get it at a good discount or make your own if you already have the mini pochette and some of the other accessories, just make your own. Um, that bag actually fits the same as the Prada Re-Edition. If you guys want to see a comparison, you would think that the two pouches fits more, but in actuality, the Prada Re-Edition actually fits the same, if not a teensy bit more, which is crazy. So... Yeah, if I had to pick between those two, my number one is the Prada Re-Edition. Definitely stick with that one. But again, like I still really like the multi-pochette. So I thought it would be a good mention to put her on this list. This um, little Louis Vuitton. Oh my gosh, what is the name of this? I cannot remember. I will drop it below, but obviously this is a vintage piece. This is actually a belt bag. So this one um, came with a strap and basically you wear it as a belt bag but you could wear it across your chest like this too. I actually lost the belt, so I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere here, I just can't find it. So I actually just use this with a gold chain and I wrap it through here and it looks really great. I have, this one's a longer gold chain so I can wear her as a crossbody. I do have a shorter version of this too where I can put it through here and it turns into like a little um, belt bag like here, I'll drop a photo. But yeah, I just think that this one is so cute and again like this is not this does fit a phone but it's a tight squeeze and i have a big phone i have the um, 12 pro max so obviously it's a little tight squeeze in here but if you wanted to you could still get her in but if you have a phone that's slightly smaller than mine it'll definitely fit and it, it fits really nicely with like a card holder um as well as like a chapstick your keys you know just your like essentials but this is not a let's carry more than your sense so this is literally like I just need to run to the gas station or I just need to like go run to the store. I just need a couple things. This is the bag you use. It's really carefree. This is vintage and look how good condition it is. Um, the Vachetta is like a honey patina now, um, but no scratches, no anything. Um, I just think it's a really, I personally think that Louis Vuitton vintage bags are so much better in quality than what they are today. I have no idea what happened. And it doesn't matter if it's made in France, made in the US, made in Spain. Like, I think they're all kind of the same, what I've observed at least on my end. Um, but I would definitely say, like, their vintage pieces are so good. I'm actually looking for the Louis Vuitton to call bag. I drop a photo here. I think that's a great vintage piece I want to add to my collection someday because it has all the, like, vintage feels but also has, like, that classic monogram, like, brass. It just looks so good. Um, so really, really like that one. 
And I do think that, you know, there's something about Louis Vuitton vintage that I just really, um, really love. And this was just what was inside. But again, you know, on the topic of, I know this is not meant to be in here, but this is um, a card case I use, but how cute, I'm just thinking out loud now, how cute if you were to make this a little mini bag. So you can actually take any little card case you have, including like your Chanel LCLGs, Louis Vuitton. I've done like a, a video on some of the wallets that I've converted um, into crossbodies. I'll drop that below too. But look how cute this is. So that's why I'm sometimes hesitant to buy a nano bag. Like I really want the Fendi one. I really want the Chanel ones and I've seen they're just so adorable. But then I think about all the SLGs I have at home and just adding a chain, it kind of gives that same look. I don't say fits about the same, uh, but yeah, like how cute. On that same note, one of my favorite things to do is take taking this Alexander Wang wallet right here, something that I actually wanted to get rid of and sell because I was not, I haven't used her for, I don't know, years because I bought this so, so, so long ago. Uh, but now I, it's one of my favorite things to use for the evenings because all I do is wrap a gold chain here and I wear it as like a little wallet on chain sort of thing. And this one works out so well because it's accordion. So it actually fits a lot in here, more so than, you know, some of the other <laughs> nano bags out there but it fits like my sanitizer, mini sanitizer. It fits all my credit card coins and cash. It has this inside pocket that you can put like a chapstick or lip gloss in. I keep um, like an eyelash brush in here and there's a back pocket where I keep like other stuff. Yeah, I keep like sunscreen and alcohol wipes in the back. I mean, it just fits so much and then in here, if you wanna tuck in more items, you can too. So this little wallet, um, which I made into a mini bag now, just works so well. So a lot of times when I'm going on like work trips and whatnot and I need something for the evening, I don't wanna take up room of my luggage, I literally will just, you know, take this like this, put this in my luggage, and then I'll have my, you know, other daytime bag that I bring. If you have a wallet that you have but have not given any love to, start thinking about turning them into crossbodies. And I guarantee you'll have a new love for those bags. You start using them. All. Lastly, I just want to add one more bag. And again, thank you if you're still watching this, but it's a coach mini bag that I recently just purchased that actually is delivering today. So I'm so excited. Be definitely doing an unboxing with you guys. Now, um, I haven't seen this bag in person. I saw it actually from a fellow YouTuber, which I'll share in the next video. So I actually saw it on a fellow YouTuber and I fell in love with that bag instantly. So I did purchase it because Coach had a sale recently. Um, but I didn't want to feature her yet. A, it's not here yet. I didn't, I wanted to make the video before the sun goes down. And then second, I didn't use her yet. So I didn't want to feature something that I am not sure about. So once we do an unboxing and I, you know, really get to use her and see what fits and things like that, I'll do a full review in case you guys are interested in that bag. Um, but yeah, that's it. This is my roundup of all my mini bags that I personally really like ranked. Um, you guys drop below and let me know what is your favorite mini bag, um, what's something maybe you regret purchasing, but yeah, like, do you guys like mini bags or bigger bags? Because for me, I think at the end of the day, I still prefer a smaller bag. However, this switch out into my Chanel vintage, um, I don't even remember what this bag is called exactly, but I made a video on this one. I'll drop it below, but yeah, this has just been so great. It's such a like carefree bag um for me and i know that it's not everyone's cup of tea because i had a people come i had a couple of people reach out to me and say like why would you get this it is um really out there and it doesn't it's not it doesn't match everything you know all that stuff but for me that's why i love it you know it's a good sometimes it's good to have your classics but sometimes you just want to have a little fun so i feel like this bag is perfect for that check out the back pockets. Um, but yeah, like if you guys want to see more review now that I've used her on what really fits 
how I use her, um, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.